and thanks for joining us on today's edition of Rockets Kids Jam. Today, the fabulous foursome is here checking out the winter goings on at Holiday in the Park right here at Astroworld. Coming up on today's show, you'll see some local girls who flip for the sport of gymnastics. And Hall of Famer Calvin Murphy will give you some tips on how you can improve your ball handling skills. Today in Calvin's camp. And later in our rest session, our special guests will be Flynn Prejean and Monty Reagan, co-creators of the Rock Knees comic book. All that and much more on today's show. So get ready, because Rockets Kids Jam is coming your way. Yeah! yeah. He's the games and attraction supervisor here at Astroworld. Now, you're not going to believe this, but Sam and I, and Brian, we're standing in front of a very rare sight on a huge December day, and that's a snow-covered snow hill. hill. Yes, that's right. Brian, where did you come up with Santa Snow Hill? Well, about five years ago, the park said, hey, let's, let's get guests of Houston a great fun time, and it said, hey, let's go snow on this. There you All go. Right. Is this artificial snow as good as the real thing for sledding, man? It is a real thing, man. Santa's elves come out here every year, and every day we blow out about 45,000 pounds of ice on that hill. You're dusting me, man. You're Showing dusting you the truth. Me, buddy. Showing you the All truth. Right. There it is. Okay, you said there were 45,000 pounds of ice? Yes, sir. How do you keep it cool? Well, basically, we got the ice built up on top of itself, and day after day, it just stays cold by itself. There's nothing underneath there at all. All right, man. Well, how do you stop that from melting when it's this warm? What we have to do is basically just go with uh, nature, and at the end of the day, we'll cover it up with a thermal blanket, and it'll stay cold overnight, and then we'll pop it off the next right. day. So is there anything you want to tell us about the snow hill? Well, about 75% of all the guests that come to Asheville at least ride this twice. That's cool. Wow. The Santa Snow Hill been a part of the Holiday in the Park yeah. ever since we started. All right, when was that? That was uh, about five years ago. All right, cool. Well, thanks a lot. Right. Well, Sam and Brian and I are going to go check out the Snow Hill while you check out this next piece about a bunch of local girls who are doing their thing in the champion sport of gymnastics. The most people conquer in a year. Lauren and I here with twins, Ernest and Joe Melton, two performers in a Jolly Holiday show here at Holiday in the Park. Hi, Ernest. Hi, Joe. Hi, Joe. This is Joe. Ernest, and this is Joe. Can you tell us, what can audiences expect to see when they come to a performance of the show? Well, Jolly Holiday is a Christmas show that starts out in the outdoor scene, and there's carols out there, and it moves into the indoor scene, and then takes you out on the community. So it's just like a big Christmas show. Yeah. Big Christmas party, exactly. Well, let's get, what kind of Christmas songs do y'all be performing? We do play ride the traditional jingle bell. Yeah. And we do some upbeat like Mr. Santa. Because even at Christmas play, we do a holy night and stuff like that. So Great. Cool with that. Yeah. Well, just to get an idea about how big your show is, how many people are there in the cast? The cast is um, 12 people. It's 10 people perform at a time with two swings to give people breaks. Oh, I see. Well, what age audiences like to come and see your show? It's a family-oriented show, particularly yeah. families for all ages. That's great. Well, is this your first year with Holiday in the Park? Yes. This is our first year at Holiday in the Park, our fourth show here. Really? Well, how long have you both been singing and dancing? Since we were five, we started since we were five. Really? And just, how did that happen? Up at San Houston State in Huntsville, Texas, we did a, our first show, Strange Case of Mother Goose. Well, what kind of dance have y'all been taking? Never I'm formerly a gymnast is what I am, really? and that's how I got my dance training through gymnastics. Oh, oh, great. So no so. Well, what is y'all's favorite part about performing at Holiday in the Park? Seeing people smile, having a good time, people spending Christmas with the family, and basically keeping the theme park shows alive, because that's really the meaning of theme park. So. Well, this isn't all y'all do. I understand y'all are doing something a little different tomorrow, uh, right? We're shooting a video with some... I don't know how much we need to save it's a promotion for the theme parks that go on a retreat, so we'll be hoping to put a video together. Well, that's great. Well, yeah. thanks so much for checking it. We can't oh. wait to see y'all's oh. show. Well, don't go away, because there's a lot more to come from Holiday in the Park, right here on Rocket's Kids Dance. Hey, Steve and I are here in front of Batman Newscape with a good friend of ours, Catherine Potts. She's the public relations coordinator here at Astro. Hey, Hi, Catherine. Hi. How are you doing? Just fine, thanks. Tell me, are the right? A big part of the Holiday in the Park experience? They are. We wanted to create a winter wonderland where people can come out here, see carolers, see holiday shows, and also enjoy our rides. It's a great time of the year. The families are on vacation. They can come out and enjoy the rides and see the holiday shows. Well, that's great. How many attractions does Astro World have to offer here at Holiday in the Park? Well, we have over 100 ride shows. for the water track because I know you're going to get wet and then the Texas Cyclone. But there's our rides like the Ultra Twister if you like heart pounding thrills or if you like something a little more slow and there's our carousel. So it's all rides for all age groups. We also have an authentic steam engine that goes around the park where you can see the whole park and you can jump on our Astroway and get a bird's eye view of all the holiday rides. So have the rides here gotten a holiday facelift? They have. We've added lots of decorations and lights throughout the park so when you come you can ride the ride especially on the Astroway. Popular 
popular attractions during the holiday in the park? Well, probably, of course, our snowmobile. That is the most popular attraction we have. And then all of our shows. And of course, we have a special person, Santa Claus, and he's definitely a popular person. Yeah. So what's your favorite ride here at Holiday in the Park? My favorite ride is Batman the Escape. There it is. Yeah, wow. it's great. It's an awesome ride, even though it's kind of short. Well, you get to walk through the Batcave, Arctic yeah. Park, and Gotham City Cold Stores, so you actually experience a whole voyage, a sensory voyage of sight and sound. So it's something that little kids can do and older people as well. Cool. Well, thanks a lot, Catherine. Hey, don't go away, because coming up next is Calvin. He's going to give you more of the tips on the game today in Calvin. Coming your way as a rap session with special guests Glenn Frazier and Monty Reagan. 